Hi everyone and especially the warning army welcome to my channel once again I promised you guys to to give you my top three from from the queen of the murder scene album um, let me say first that this list changed and in the last couple of days multiple times and it's probably going to change in the future again so this is my current top three like I said it changed a couple of times it was really not so easy to come up with that list um, because there are a lot of good songs on that album and yeah like I said I had I changed my mind a couple of times and so first I want to say uh, thank you to everyone from the warning army who who stayed with me for the whole album and watched my videos and and commented and liked and all that good stuff thanks a lot for that um this channel wouldn't be anything without the people watching so thanks for every to everyone for your time the time that you were willing to spend with me and now let's let's get into the list so the first song like number three i would say is the last song of the album the end stars always seem to fade um, there's a lot about the song that I really like. First, the, the way it, it evolves, like from that very, very slow and chilled intro part of first verse, um, only with the piano more or less, um, then into the great chorus that I really like. I really like the melody in the chorus and until the end, until then he plays this great guitar solo. That, that I really like. I I mean, it's not like the most complex guitar solo that has ever been played, but but um, this is not about technicality. It's it's about the sound, how it sounds, and I think it sounds great. Um, I love her guitar play. I really do. I think she she is a really good guitar player, and if she has some more room to play when she's not singing the lead, like in this song, then she really knows what to do with this. And yeah, the sound of the guitar. Um, the guitar solo, also Powell's vocals, the melody in the chorus, the, the way it builds up, the whole song, it's, and the lyrics, of course. But I think more or less all of the songs on this album have good songwriting, so that's not really a factor. But yeah, I really like this song, and that's my number three. So, now, number two. Um, by the way... Let me know what you guys think, what your top three are. I'm pretty sure like everyone has more or less a different list. I mean, there are some people that have the same list, but most like everyone has their own own preferences and what they like. So leave a comment and let me know what your top three are. Um, but now let's let's continue with number two. So my number two is Sinister Smiles. Um, that's another great song from this album and already like every time when it starts and you have that driving beat on the drum from Pau, like I'm, I'm always into it and then nodding with my head and I'm um, feeling the song and the song also has has a lot of great parts that I really like it's not only that the driving beat um, but also Danny's vocals of course Danny's delivery like the lyrics like with ev with every song like like i said the songwriting is good with all songs like that's not really a factor but um yeah i like the bridge the breakdown in in the bridge um i really like the chorus especially the backing vocals i feel like make add a lot to this song and make this one very special for me and yeah i can't help myself i'm always like nodding my head and i'm always in that beat when i hear that song i think sinister smiles is definitely a great song so and now finally my number one and i'm not sure if, if how many people would have picked this one but for me and the name fits pretty well um, my number one is the one and there's once again a lot about this song that i really like first the build up of the song with that very very mellow part in the beginning that nice build up in the pre-chorus and most of all the chorus that um that nice sing-along part in the chorus that that really gets me every time um yeah i really love this song i think i really love this song i listened to it a lot like in the last days i 
I think the chorus is so great when they make that little switch up in the, in the second part of the chorus and have that sing along kind of melody that always gets me and and I love this and also the breakdown on the bridge like I mean they always have good breakdowns on all of their songs like I said the songwriting is always good but yeah I really love the melody in 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 the chorus it's just so catchy and it gets me every time currently this is my number one not saying it's always gonna be my number one from this album but at the moment that's what it is so there you have it that's my top three um like i said let me know what you think what your top three are what you think think about my top three and by the way i will of course do more the warning songs on my channel like choke z animosity those are a couple of those that had have been requested quite a lot and i will definitely do them sooner or later um so this was not this is not the end of the warning on my channel don't worry but yeah that's it for the queen of the murder scene album i hope you like the whole series i hope you like the videos and i also hope you like my top three and have a wonderful week and see you next time